<laughs> it's a great day. It's Monday. We don't always like Mondays. So I decided, as Christy's beau, to take her out for some great barbecue. And I told her, I said, honey, you won't need to quiver here. Let's just go take a shot in the dark. That's right, a Knoxville institution, now out on Highway 66, this is Archer's Barbecue. Archers is a Tongue and Groove log cabin located on Route 66 in Sevierville. And outside, there are three bench style dining tables. And you can eat outside, and I think that's probably what we're going to do. Looks like they've got six different kinds of barbecue sauce. And we will introduce those in a little bit. But for now, let's go inside. The seating inside of Archer's is very quaint and there are about four or five tables uh, that seat probably 15 or 20 people. And you've got the wall of merchandise shirts over there. And to order, you simply walk up to the counter and they will take your order and they do bring it to your table. I love you all as much as bacon, and that's saying a whole lot. So let's go over the menu right quick here at Archer's. So, you've got your rib plates. Good prices here. Here, barbecue plates. Pulled pork, pulled chicken. The big boy plate. I had the meat trio. Still good prices on this. Your barbecue sandwiches. You've got a small, regular, and large, along with a rib sandwich. The specialties, I'm real curious about the Captain Almond's barbecue sundae. That sounds amazing. Of course, you've got the pimento cheese sandwich. Again, if there's no pimento cheese at the barbecue joint, you want to run. <laughs> Smoked chicken salad sandwich, barbecue nachos. They do cater, and they've mentioned that. Brisket Friday and Saturday only. Okay, so keep that in mind. There's sides. You've got baked beans, barbecue beans, coleslaw, collard greens, stewed green beans. I'm curious about that. Uh, the loaded potato salad, sweet potato chips, smokehouse mac and cheese, jalapeno pimento cheese, smoked chicken salad, and then of course your bag of chips. They do family value packs here. Look at this. Four, six, and ten pack. They've got large portions if you desire that. Small kids menu here. Great desserts. Oatmeal craisin cookie, brookie, the chocolate chip, and good old banana pudding there. You've got your drinks, and they talk about gluten and MSG free. The homemade sauces are listed here by uh, heat level. So that's interesting there. So, we'll talk about the history of archers here in just a moment. We'll be back in just a minute. For me, it is the half rack of ribs. And it is a dry rub rib that they are obviously smoking for many hours. And uh, the gentleman, Andy, that we talked to just pulled these off just before we got here. And I've got coleslaw, which everybody who watches Smoky Mountain Faith Food and Fun knows that Christy has a thing for coleslaw. And I really was torn between getting chicken salad, but chicken salad is considered a side here at Archer's, so they give you saltine crackers and chicken salad as your side. So I'm really excited about trying that. For me, I have the meat trio plate. So we've got pulled chicken, there's pulled pork, toast, ribs, two bones. We got some 
loaded potato salad, some beautiful collard greens, and we're about to show you the sauce rundown. Well, let's give you the sauce rundown here at Archer's. Six sauces in the case as we sit, Memphis style, mild and sweet, Kansas City, spicy and sweet, Carolina mustard, a little spice, a little sweet, okay? Moonshine vinegar. Mm, wow. A little tart and spicy. The house favorite, this is the Archer's Original. So, a little sweet there. And the hot and flavorful holy jalapeno. Oh, my. So, we have six sauces. But. Wait, there's more. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Our main man, Andy who was working the counter, also helps the pit master, told us, dum, 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 dum. There's a seventh sauce. This is kept inside and you must ask for it. <laughs> yes, introducing <laughs> hot and spicy monster sauce. Yes, this is made with a Carolina Reaper. So I know it's gonna be hot. Uh, I am gonna try this with a saltine and let's see how this goes. Um, I will tell you that all of the, you're not looking at tomato based uh, barbecue sauces at Archer's, 90% of all these sauces are vinegar based. So keep that in mind. He, uh, uh, Andy said he has been too afraid to try it. Yep. And Andy I'm, said he's too afraid to I'm try it. I'm hoping I don't need to dial 911. <laughs> let's, put a, let's, put a, let's put a good little, look at that. I think you're crazy. I'm <laughs> on the whole. Bit of saltine there. Okay. Nope. <laughs> ready to, says, ready nope. for me to try this? I'm ready. The sweet tea is close. Should we by the pray way. first, dear dear Lord, please help <laughs> him not to burn his tongue off. In Jesus' name, amen. Right. That's pretty hilarious. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to gauge his expression. He's not running out of here yet, so that's good. <laughs> wow, wow, okay. wow. So, yeah, it is hot and it is spicy. Here's the great part about it. It's very sweet on the front end. And then on the back end, bam. <laughs> it's like literally, this bottle of sauce just went and hit me in the face. I mean, it's, ooh. <clears throat> is it sweet? It's a little sweet on the front end. But then, boy, does it leave the burn in your mouth on the back so end. So in other words, Christy does not need to eat the sauce. No, but I will tell you, that's probably great on collard greens. Uh, Emily would like crazy. it. Our daughter would Emily love that. Emily would love mm -hmm. uh, all of this, I think. We're gonna give it, we're gonna try all of these uh, sauces a little bit, just to see what we like, what we don't like. But Archer's is an institution, and man, is it good, so. You forgot to talk about that. Uh, smokehouse mac and cheese. So I got this for Christy and I to try, to share, uh, because, well, we love mac and cheese, and look at that. Those, Smokehouse those mac and cheese. Very good. Yeah, that's some good stuff. So we're gonna go and try this, and we'll let you know on the back end, because it's a beautiful day out here. We're sitting outside. Great tables, let me tell you what. This is great. Uh, right here on 66. Smoker is going. Yeah. Nice. It's wonderful. So, like I said, if you've never been to Archer's, you want to give this a shot. But, like I said, we're going to go eat. And to the you, to the uh, folks we met inside who asked about our YouTube channel, we're going to say hello. Yes. <laughs> Hope you're watching. <laughs> bye bye. I mean, we'll be back because we're going to eat. <laughs> we will be back. Let's eat. Bye. I mean, not bye. All right. Friends, I am going to try the ribs, and if he'll pan down here, the first thing I noticed when I cut them open is how moist they are, which for me is important. Got a little but, smoke uh, ring on there. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm gonna use some of the original sauce because uh, original sauce. I'm a saucy kind of girl. Now the original is what? Uh, That's the yeah. house favorite. Yep, the house favorite. Tell me I'm, how sweet it is. I'm guessing it's a sweet and probably tangy. Okay. Ooh. Okay. How's that rib? 
off the hook flavor. <laughs> Incredible flavor. Yeah. Falling off the bone, clearly. Clearly falling off the bone. And the original sauce. Yeah. I'm full of my mouthful. That's okay. Mm, napkin. The original sauce is sweet and tangy, which is kind of what I thought it was going to be. Sweet and tangy, okay. And, um, yeah. So, I'm going to eat my ribs, and I will be back with my full assessment of archers yeah. in a few minutes. What else you got on that plate? Oh, uh, coleslaw and chicken salad. Coleslaw looks great. Chicken salad. I like the saltines with the smoked chicken salad. Yeah, I know. And that is smoked chicken salad. Well, let me just go ahead and try that while I'm here. <laughs> Finger looking good. <laughs> yeah. That is a good looking. My hands were clean, I promise. Chicken salad. Well, if not, it's your food. Yeah, right. <laughs> Try not to. Okay, I need a fork. There is some chunks of chicken in this salad, y'all. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my. There's big chunks. Yeah. There, so let's. Good stuff on the smoked chicken salad. Yeah, I am a connoisseur of chicken salad, and that's definitely. But look at just the one. Look little, at the big chunk there. Chunk of, chunk of. Yeah. And uh, Andy came out here and brought us some extra goodies, which we did not order. And so we thank you, Andy. We got a brookie, and we got nanner pudding. Oh, my favorite. So we'll try that too. We got the whole shebang today, guys. Yes, and uh, how about that coleslaw? I didn't try the coleslaw yet. Let's try the coleslaw here. He's making me eat on camera, guys. Who cares? But my daughter says that's what people like. Comment, that's right. Comment if you like watching people yeah, eat. Yeah, do you like that or not? Plus, she's not eating disgustingly. It's like not like panning up to her. That's gross. It is your very good basic coleslaw. No frills. Great flavor. Just enough tang, just enough sweet. Excellent. So you really can't get better than that. All right. Well, let's go eat. All right, guys. Brooks is going to try a few things for you. And he'll tell you what he thinks on the spot. Yes, absolutely. So, uh, let's go with vegetables first. Because meat is always the main event. Collard greens. I have always said that if you are a barbecue person. And you go to a barbecue place. Collard greens. If it's not on the menu, first of all, you should run from that barbecue place. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to do something a little different. This is the Carolina mustard sauce. Let me tell you. Carolina mustard. Boom. A I little, bet that is good. A little hack there yeah. for you. Well, but I'm going to try this. That's definitely a southern hack for sure. That is a southern hack. Let's try this. Oh man. Is it good? Tender greens. Really good. Do they have a vinegar, a vinegar background? Yeah. Vinegar, vinegar background, but the Carolina mustard takes that over the top. Oh yeah, I'm sure. So I'm going to say that, uh, yeah, that's good. Now we have loaded potato salad. If anybody knows Brooks, he's like, he's about potato salad as I am the coleslaw. So. That's right. Also, if you go to a barbecue joint with no potato salad, <laughs> run from that as well. I think we did not try the beans this time, but maybe mm. next time. Mm. Alright, so I'm tasting bacon. Is it like a ranch chives. background? Uh, yeah, that is. Bacon, chives, there's cheese. I definitely there's... see bacon and chives. Yeah. There. There's some good stuff there. Yeah. Uh, Christy's already tried the ribs, so... Alright, so now... This is pulled chicken. Pulled pork. And I'm gonna do a little Kansas City. For my chicken. <laughs> and a little moonshine vinegar for the pork. 
I'm excited to try them all. Yes. Okay. Trying the pulled chicken first. That's a big chunk of chicken. My goodness, look at that. That's a big chunk of chicken. <laughs> Guys, I wish they had smell of vision because the smell of this pit smoker out here is so yummy. There's absolutely nothing about that chicken I don't love. Is it moist? Oh. I know you hate that word, but is it? <laughs> That's Brooks's least favorite word is moist. I can't stand that word, but <laughs> it is that. It is. It's, it's very tender. It's not wet chicken. It's I'm sorry. <laughs> I just can't say it. I've tried to get her to say it. Nope. I'm trying to get that to catch on. Nope. Moist. Moonshine vinegar on the pulled pork. Pulled pork. Look at that. Look how juicy that is. Look at that. Can you see that? That's beautiful. Mm. So how smoky is it? You know, not very. It has a light smokiness in the in the back. Like but it doesn't you're... overwhelm you off the top. Mm. No. See, that's smokiness. what I like. So I'm excited. I, that's what I like about yeah. barbecue as well. I want it smoky. I mean, we have a smoker now, and. We have yet to have a fail on the smoker. You've actually done really well with our smoker. Risk it and all. Um, this is tremendous. So, and uh, we haven't tried the. Oh, we haven't I, tried to make. We'll try it together, and you'll it's just tremendous. hear my reaction. Yes. Let's try it together, my love. Aw, aren't we special? Aww. Yes. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Well, no, let's do that. No, you ate it already. <laughs> I did. Mmm. Very cheesy. That's good. That's good. Very cheesy, good cheese flavor. Yeah. Um, honestly, I don't taste a lot of the smoke, but maybe that's just me. Yeah, but you can tell but, that that's homemade mac and cheese. But it's very good. So, mm -hmm. um, like if you have children that like mac and cheese, I don't think they would be overwhelmed by the smoky flavor. Yes. Um, so it would be a good thing for, for yes. children. And I think that's probably intentional, because not everything needs to be overly overwhelmed with smoke. And I think that's what I've noticed so far, is that... You get the smoke, but it's not going to overwhelm you. That's right. So, so, all right, we're going to eat now, and we will be back. Final thoughts coming up. So, Andy was very kind and brought us out desserts on the house, and this is the brookie. Oh, my goodness, that looks great. So, Andy, our server, is graciously given us also a nanner pudding which in the south if your barbecue place don't have nanner pudding there's a problem so we're gonna try that how do you know it's good barbecue by the size of the stack of napkins when you're done so you know me and you know as a foodie I'm not just interested in the food, especially when we go to a place like this. I'm all about the history. Now for me, Archer's had a special place in my heart anyway because growing up in and around UT football in the Knoxville area, Archer's is somewhat of an institution uh, in Knoxville. And now, of course now they've come into Sevierville here in the Smokies, which makes it fantastic. So uh, you would think that Archer is the last name. It is not. Archer's Barbecue was actually started by a man named Archer Bagley, who is still in charge of the business today. Um, and when you know it, Archer grew up in Memphis, home of some great barbecue. So um, his first uh, venture into business, I also have history in Atlanta. Some of the best barbecue in Atlanta, Fox Brothers. Uh, Archer was actually one of the first investors in Fox Brothers in Atlanta. Uh, finally, he decided he was going to break out on his own. He sold all of his shares in Fox Brothers and moved into Knoxville. Uh, one location grew into what is now six locations. You're looking at number six here. This is the Sevierville location uh, out here on Winfield Dunn uh, Highway 66. Um, so this this is location number six now. Uh, uh, the Knoxville News Sentinel always does like the best barbecue 
in uh, in Knoxville. Archers is consistently number one. Um, they're one of the top 25 barbecue joints in Tennessee. It's excellent. Like I said, you just can't you can't get bad food here. It's just good. Uh, and like I said, Archer still runs the business today. So he's just got a passion for it. It's not a business necessarily for him. It's a passion. He loves to uh, to smoke uh, meats. He's just a big fan of barbecue. So uh, if you get the opportunity, come on down. Archer's Barbecue. I promise you, you're going to have a good meal here. All right, guys. We have finished our incredible, definitely a barbecue feast here at Archer's Barbecue in Sevierville. And my final thoughts are really, and I'm being totally honest here, excellent, excellent barbecue. Um, the portion sizes, a lot, <laughs> a lot. We definitely have leftovers. Um, the ribs, the dry rub on the ribs is fantastic. There is just a little bit of heat there falling off the bone, but the flavor is probably, and, I, and again, I am not, I'm not exaggerating when I tell you, I think these are probably the best ribs that I have had in Sevier County. And that's saying a lot because there's barbecue places everywhere and they're all good and they all have their thing that's, that's, that is the best, but truly I enjoyed the ribs. They were fantastic. The smoked chicken salad. First of all, highly impressed that is considered a side item here at Archer's because you know, it's, you know, chicken salad, hey, it is, it is not like a cheap thing. Could that be an entree on its own? It, it, it could. I, in fact, I ate some and I'm still getting that much to go home. So there was probably more than a quarter pound of chicken salad with the saltines on my plate. And it is delicious. It is not over the top smoky. So if you're not a big fan of smoky, um, you're still going to like it. Uh, really good flavor. And coleslaw, well... I think I already said when I took a took a bite of that that it is just your good basic coleslaw. So it, it was good. And then the dessert, uh, the banana pudding, was a very good banana pudding. Uh, nothing over the top about it, but if you like banana pudding, you'll like this. Uh, really enjoyed the brookie. Uh, nice, moist, thick, fudgy brownie with the cookie batter in it. And uh, it was it was very good. In fact. Uh, that's gone <laughs> so <laughs> it went bye-bye <laughs> and I was just inside talking uh, to the to the fellows inside and they did tell me to um, let everybody know that they have a gluten-free cookie it was a uh, cranberry a cranberry oatmeal craisin Is oatmeal craisin cookie yes yeah. and so that's gluten-free and really the only other thing that's not gluten free would be the mac and cheese and like the nacho chips and things like that but mm -hmm. lots of gluten free options and they are working on vegan or, ve or vegetarian options as well so they're not there yet but they said that they are working on that so if you have suggestions i know the folks will probably be watching this video and uh we'll definitely take to heart what your thoughts are so Two thumbs up for archers. Definitely give them a try. And I see that she's loading the coals over there. Give that a shot. Nice. But um, I liked it. It was all good. And I will definitely be back. Also, uh, if you're a Tennessee resident, you get 15% off. Just show your ID. And uh, I am going to see what Brooks has to say about his archers experience oh archers so the love affair with archers started for me in Knoxville now that it's here in Sevierville it's just fantastic um, Andy our server uh, at the counter he was amazing Andy was so good uh, in thank you Andy decide. you were yes. awesome <laughs> and talking with us helping us get uh, get our order taken and let us know how things work um, thank you for the monster sauce as well six different sauces a seventh including the monster sauce I forgot to talk about the sauces real quick my favorites yeah what was your favorite babe was the Carolina 
or the moonshine vinegar and the mustard base sauce. Yeah, the Carolina mustard. Yeah. But we did try them all, and those two are the ones that for me stuck out as the best. The holy jalapeno seems hotter to me than the monster. <laughs> yes. um, but they were all good, and to me, none of them were over the top spicy. But if you are not a spicy person, I mean, we all a little spicy, <laughs> but if you're not a spicy food person, definitely um, maybe stay away from those spicy yeah. sauces. Yeah. <laughs> The moonshine vinegar for me was fantastic, especially with that pulled pork. Man, uh, I am usually more of a tomato-based uh, barbecue kind of guy. This, like I said, is 90% vinegar-based, but let me tell you what, it's not that vinegary. Um, no, it's not. It's not overkill on the vinegar. The bite, the bite is not really there. Yeah. You know it, it's vinegar, but it's not biting you. It's not just killing you. It's not, uh, it's not just coming at you screaming with vinegar it's uh, it's got excellent flavor um the meat trio plate pulled chicken uh done perfectly and a very very tender juicy chicken uh the pulled pork excellent great bark on everything i'm gonna interject they love our banter i think babe but honestly when i first looked at the chicken to me it kind of looked dry but then i tried his chicken yeah it is tender, <coughs> and there was nothing dry about it. Very delicious. Absolutely. Not not dry at all. <coughs> Excuse me. But it okay. was very, very good. Uh, the sides, the loaded potato salad, very good. Very good. I would definitely recommend that. Mac and cheese, very good as well. The collard greens. I love the collard greens. Again, uh, Southern Hack here. Use that. <coughs> Excuse me. Gosh. That Carolina mustard, right here. Put this on your collard greens. I'm telling you, it's a hack, but man, is it good. It just adds a little extra depth of flavor. Something very good. Uh, and it just mixes really well. It gives it a nice tone. So I really enjoyed that. The brookie and the banana pudding, both excellent. Of course, Christy finished off the brookie uh, as it was very good. I admit it. I did. Uh, the banana pudding. Yes, I am a fan of banana pudding. Um, very much a fan of banana pudding. Like I said, the great part about Archer's is that everything that they have on the menu is homemade. You're not getting uh, processed stuff here. You're Nothing getting homemade, scratch-made stuff, and that's what is also important with barbecue. Uh, but yeah, if you get the opportunity, come on out, check it out out here on Highway 66, Winfield Dunn Parkway. There's six location. I know it's going to do great because Archer's is great no matter where you're at. Um, so those are my final thoughts. I will just say two thumbs up for Archer's. If you like this video, give us that big thumbs up, like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We know we've got some great stuff coming up. And of course, click that little notification bell because that gives you a ringy dingy every time we post new content. So, for now, this is Brooks and Christy signing off here from beautiful Highway 66 in Sevierville at Archer's Barbecue. We love you. God bless you. And we hope you'll come out and uh, give it a shot, if you will. God bless y'all. Bye-bye. We love you.